Hi guys, Shrimp and FM, and today we continue our Ken Beef career. We have another game against Tom Furman. I know what you're thinking, enough with Tom Furman. Uh, <laughs> the reason we're playing today's episode is because we can win the league against our fierce rivals at East End Park. So I had to show this one. I had to. Uh, I skipped the Scottish Cup game against them, that, which was actually the last game we played. We did win 2-1. I think we were deserved winners. We do still have a lot of fitness concerns and more injuries. Wesley Snyder is injured. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so not doing too well. We have beat Dunfermline every time we've played them this season. And I think we're undefeated against them all in all. I might be wrong about that. I do need to actually keep record of things a wee bit better. You know, I've not got the best memory. I'm expecting a tight game. We do need a win. I think, if my maths is correct, we do need to actually win the game to win the league at East End Park. Uh, I don't know what to, I don't know how it's going to go. We obviously did have that shock defeat against uh, Inverness Cali, a very tight game against Dunfermline. I'm expecting it to be really, really close. Uh, it's not going to be as straightforward as, as our record against them sh would suggest. I'm further than a decent team actually, they've kind of came in the playoff spot, I do believe they are second right now, we'll double check that a wee bit later when we look at the league and whatnot, but uh, yeah, I mean it's a long time coming, the promotion to the SBL, We've I've kind of been talking about it in the last few episodes, we just want to get over the line today, I think we will, I think we have enough to at least pull out the win against Dunfermline. But yeah, they've certainly been on really decent form lately and it's a bit of a grudge match between myself and Alan Johnson. I always sort of try and stay away from them because you kind of end up embarrassing yourself if the manager uh, beats you basically. Uh, it's half time and it's going to be nil nil, yep. Yeah, so a bit of drab so far. Not great. Uh, let's go, yeah, let's just say what, where is your passion? Yeah, so actually, uh, one thing I forgot to mention, yeah, we Scottish Cup. I've not been mentioning a lot about that, to be honest, because I fully expected it's going to be like previous seasons. We're going to get a big club and be put out of it. And that's why I've not really been talking about it, but we are actually in the quarterfinal. Uh, and we don't have... Uh, I can't actually remember. It might be Annan we have, so we have a good chance at the Scottish Cup. Celtic and Aberdeen are still in it, so uh, Hearts as well, I believe. So if we can get to the Scottish Cup final, that would probably be up there with with any FM achievement I, I I've ever got. If we can get Cain Beef European football in our fourth season, if that's obviously if we win, uh, what a record that would be! I, I would actually, it would be come out of uh, nowhere because I totally not expecting it obviously uh, that would be oh and I'm of scores <laughs> but yeah that would be a huge achievement I would actually be pretty proud of that achievement uh, I'm not going to get my hopes up too much because no doubt we'll probably end up with Celtic or possibly Aberdeen and like well that's even if we beat I think Annan I think it is Annan begins with any <laughs> terrible memory guys terrible memory we just need to get back into the game now. We just really need to encourage and hope for the... Yes! 1-1. One, one. Brilliant. Zach Rudgen... Uh, sorry, Zach Rudgen just coming back from injury. The absolute... Oh, come on. We need to win it. I want the win. I want the title today. That would be absolutely incredible if we could just get it. Today, it's done and dusted. We've been talking about it for a long time. In the last few episodes, probably... A wee bit... No, in fact, no, we, we did actually. We, we were dominating the league, so... I think it's fair to say I'm always kind of worried about this. Surely... Uh, Ronan Hughes coming on. Ronan Hughes has really picked up. He, he was kind of not going to game because David Buchanan was playing right mid, but I do rate him. Uh, he will be in my first team. I think I mentioned a few episodes where when we still had Steve Nichols as the manager, he was going to put him as... Uh, basically saw him as a backup and I'm like absolutely not uh, he's done really well uh, Mikey Johnson as well actually on the, out on the left he's still not 
fully suited to that sort of left midfield role, but he's just been amazing. He's just been brilliant uh, this season. In terms of someone that can create chances, he's a good player in real life, actually. Uh, oh, no. Oh, God. We're going to finish another game with 10 men. Zach Rudden is injured again. Ah, oh, God. I don't actually know. Yes! Ronan Hughes, speak of the devil. 2-1. Unbelievable. We can clinch the title at East End Park, and it looks like we are going to. Oh, this is unbelievable. Oh, no. Please don't. Yeah, all right, it's us. Right, it's really tense now. Oh god. It's gotta be all over. Sorry if I got a wee bit quiet here, I'm a bit... I... No? Yay, we won it! Yes! Absolutely well deserved. Being a great season, dominant, amazing. So that's it guys, we have finally secured promotion to the SPL by winning the championship. Long time coming to be honest, we are still in the Iron Brew Cup, which we hope to win again. We will play Dundee United in the semi-final in the next episode. And we're still in the Scottish Cup as I mentioned before, so there is still things to look forward to. Obviously the SPL was the goal of this series, so we can only see where we go from there i do appreciate everyone that's been on the journey with me and anyone that's sort of coming on into it now uh, i do appreciate your support uh, please don't forget to like subscribe if you're new and i will see you soon